Okay then, that was a thing. Woo! Sipping, yes! <laughs> Thank you. Good lord. Okay. Let me see. Oh, right, sure. That's still the same, right? Yes. <gasps> Make the old rice do that. Go! I'd like to sit at a desk in my own library, writing memoirs, with someone bringing me a nice cup of hot tea. Oh, who am I kidding? I wouldn't be able to sit still for a day. Nice. Hey, Raid! <laughs> um... Is there a bridge? There's a bridge. Good. Mm -hmm. I guess we will enter this. And after this, I want to take a look at the um, kingdom again. To see if there's some stuff going on. What is this? I'm going to follow the road for a bit. Let's see what's going on here. Well, I mean, Jubilus is not wrong. I mean, this road could use some work. <coughs> oh, hi. <coughs> Jogo. Come here, Jogo. Jogo. Hi. What's wrong, Jogo? What's going on? Where's your master? Where are you going? Jogo. Wait. Hi, what are you doing? <coughs> no, wait, where are you going? <coughs> hello, hello? Where are you going? That's a bunny. Do you want me to look at the bunny? <coughs> oh, I guess not. Where are you going? Do you need help? <coughs> oh, I see. I can die. -o. Oh, it's you! Hi, dude! <coughs> I forgot you were in this game for some reason. Hi! Following the strange wolf, you climb the top of the hill, and there you see a black skinned man sitting under a spreading bush. The wolf runs up to him and sits near, whimpering. <gasps> Hi! Whom you brought? Get lost, dog. You're not needed here. Hey, be nice to the doggo. The man staggers to his feet, and you notice there's blood soaking the right side of his leather leggings. <gasps> He's very tall and rather lanky. While he stands before you, leaning on his bow, his hurt leg trembles slightly, and the right side of his leggings darkens again with fresh bleeding. Oh no! Ekundayo. Hi. Wow, sounds like a spell. He has a nasty voice. Um, <laughs> don't get distracted by his voice. <laughs> uh, you're bleeding. We need to patch you up. Patched up already. This wound isn't the deadliest. Okay, uh, I'm Dolly. I'm the Baroness of these lands. Nice to meet you. Ekon for decent ones. Are you decent? Yes. I'm a friend. So, what are you doing here? Sitting, waiting, hunting. Uh, I don't wish to pressure you, but please answer me. I may be able to help you. <sighs> Lured your curiosity. Saves me right. We'll start again. The name's Ekondayo. Ekon for decent ones. Used to be a carpenter in the Bristle Hill village. Trolls attacked. Killed everyone but me. We'll show them that was a mistake. Oh. They all deserve death. Kargad, most of all. Rock troll. He led them. Okay. Um. Um. How how did you get wounded? I've been hunting trolls until they have hunted back. The wound can't stop their hunting. 
just slows it down. What? Did he just ask if you're decent? <laughs> I am fully clothed, and so what if I'm not? <laughs> hey, Mazalan. Hi. Uh, hold on. Uh, da -da -da. Did you know that the local trolls are not afraid of fire now? No, didn't. Fire arrows couldn't murder them. Now I know the reason. Had no chance here. Can see it now. Okay. Well, I'm hunting these trolls too. Um, would you like to join our efforts? Ekans' face gets a trifle calmer. You can see he's glad to hear your offer. We'll mark on your map all the places where troll feet tread the land. Troll's lair must be somewhere nearby. Thanks. The spirit is strong, but the body falters. We'll follow you wherever you need, but this wound must be tended by healers in the capital. Don't want to burden. That's fine. One more thing before we go. Troll feet tread this path often. Would like to stay here until they appear. Uh, sure. Stay in the ambush. This is a great place for an ambush. Let's wait. Ice school, could you just... Ice school! Oh, God. Just at least... Throw him some... I don't know. A towel or something? Oh, God. Well, just let him go. He'll tire himself out. <laughs> Whee! What? Oh. Um... Bye-bye. Okay, then. <clears throat> In due time. Hi! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna heal you. No, that's bless. Yes. That one! That's fine. Definitely loots. Collect them all. Awesome. So, are you happy now? Do we need more? What's on there? Do they have signs on them or something? What is that? What? What is this? Interesting. Can I talk to you? Keep your eyes open. No. Okay. So this is done then, I guess? I'll stick with him for a bit. I like him. Follow if you Oh, hello. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything here? I'm there. No? Okay. <laughs> I have to check. Oh, he has a companion. That's nice. Um, hold on a second. What are you anyway? Lawful good. Oh. Can't have that. But we'll see. <laughs> okay. Let's pull the road a little bit further. Loots. There's something here. Where? Oh, hi.
I shall end this suffering. This is for you. Attack! Oh! That is ow! Oi! You should have run. You should have run. This is your mistake. Splort. What? Hey! Rude! What in the world? It was a trap! Gasp! Take that, thank you. Despite the stack of being long dead, the bandits still plague these lands. Well, that's their mistake. Nah. Well then. Oh, how big is this pep? Good lord. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> what? Oh. No, 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 not kobolds. Strike. Strike. Get him. Oh no, that's he's already dead. Bring it! There we go. There's just sign again. Need to catch my breath. I bet you do. Ha 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 ha! Hi. Yes, please. Well, well, well. What did you miss? I don't know. What did you miss? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> ah, me too. What's this? The dwarf helm shard? I'll take it. Um, do I want to explore more? I think I do. I think I do. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Can I sleep here? Oh, I will. A bonfire is dying in the middle of a grassy glade. Nearby, a cooking pot is still hot, and tin mugs are scattered around. Three bedrolls have been rolled out beneath the tree. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. There are no signs of wildlife either. The mysterious scene is oddly disquieting. Rummage through their things. It's all common hunter's supplies of flint, some clothes, a box of salt. Oddly, there's only one backpack here. Though, there are three bedrolls and three mugs. Check inside the pot. The pot contains what's left of a savory stew. There's also what seems to be herbal tea left cooling in the nearby mugs. And you spot some dirty plates gathered together. It looks like the people who made camp here uh, had just finished eating and were about to go to sleep. Ekin sniffs the mugs and then shakes his head. Not a manis. Not a manis. Okay. Hmm. Look around carefully. After exploring for a while, you begin to understand what's wrong here. The fire's embers glow a little too bright. The grass and trees are a bit too green. And the air itself is a bit too fresh. Everything looks like a too fresh painting soon through, seen through a shimmering mirage. Let's see if we can find the nature of this disturbance. I succeeded. It looks like a barrier between two realities has become too thin. In places like this, people and objects can be drawn from one world to another by sheer, sheer chance. Sometimes they reappear from far away, uh, far away from the original location, and sometimes they seem to become lost forever. 
Something's wrong here. Some sort of witchcraft for sure. Okay. Um. Detect magic. Let's see if there are any enchantments about. Shimmering is definitely a magical effect of some sort. Judging by its aura, someone may have been trying to cross the borders between the worlds. Okay. Spent the night at the deserted campsite. Well, nothing happened. I guess we're good. Go, go, are you coming? Okay, well, I guess that's it. Trivial task. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that was unnecessary. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. Hi. Who will prevail? Does it matter? Become dust. <laughs> Else. Oh, hello. Rook and Linnel. And... <laughs> Someone else. Hi. You there, help us! Hunters, we are we are camping in the woods and then suddenly we're up here. Some weird magical... Magics or something, I guess. For God's sake, help us! What a shame. He was just one step away from his death. Such a rare chance for a, mo for a most beautiful end. Wasted. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Try to catch the hunters using a stretched out cloak. Jump! We'll catch you! Oh, this will go wonderful. You managed to get the cloak stretched out, stretched taut, to try and, ca and catch the hunters. The man above pushes his wounded friend down first and then jumps himself. You catch them both without any trouble. Here, as a reward for your efforts, I found it on the corpse up there. It looks valuable. A, coal, a gold cockwheel ring? Thank you. Take this tool. Little on me, oh, you are alive after all. And gold coins. Oh my goodness, we need to save people more. Thanks. Can we get over here? I do what I must. Yeah, I guess that's it there. Over there. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, is there more stuff I want to do? Let's uh look around this side, and then we can leave here. I wonder what else is up I'll here. If I have to. Found it. <laughs> Repent. Tear them apart. <laughs> Don't hold back. <laughs> Everything. Hi, who are you? Oh, there's a note. Okay, hold on. What is this? The bandit's letter? No. Bandit's letter. Hey, sis! How can I... 
Oh, there. Hey, sis, we're rich! We got lucky after all. If we play our cards right, we'll finally be able to quit running around the woods with piss on the damn boss and his gang and go to Bravoy and live as happy as pigs and shit. The point is, you must take care. You know very well what these fellas do to those who try to con them. And we are going to con them hard, sunshine. See? While you were away, we caught this dwarf, all dressed up like a dog's dinner. Fancy mail armor, tall tail, tall tails, and, and could immediately see he was the city mouse. He kept on treating us like dirt until we'd set his beard on fire. After that, he started spilling his guts in no time. Long story short, his ancestors, Fortash or something, the ones who built this ancient tower, had hidden some real treasure inside, and you see, he decided to return there after several centuries to claim his family fortune. All alone, with no guards, and it made me laugh my ass off. He had no idea about the exact place where that treasure was hidden, but he brought the key to open the place, a white metal thingy, something like a cog, and when the fellows heard about the treasure, they literally started rubbing their hands together, and I thought to myself, well, what happens when we find it? The boss sees his, his lion's share, and we are all left with meager peanuts. All these things considered, I snatched the key away while the rest of the gang was sleeping, and made it look like the dwarf had run away with it. The fellows have been running across the woods since then, searching for the midget, but they'll have to search really hard. I buried him rather deep. They stay away for, from the tower for now. What might they do there without the key? So, make use of it. When you return, do not go to the camp. Go to our place instead. I've hidden a cog in the hollow of a tree trunk. You know which one I mean. Take it and get to the tower. Look around and find what you can... And find what you can open with it. You're smart, you'll manage. Take away all these dwarven hidden... Dwarves hid, have hidden and... Well, I, I don't have to tell you what to expect. Be careful, don't blow up your best chance. Hogs. Perkin. Loot, you say? Yes, I do need a break. That is true. I do need a break. Let's save. Finally, don't go there. Oh, and let's take a short break. I need to eat something. I need to stretch. I need to use the bathroom and you can do the same without missing anything <laughs> I will see you guys in about five minutes Boom. hello hey Sarah hey Stocks hi guys <clears throat> there we go okay so we're gonna Look around the rest of this map, and then, well, we have to continue to that nymph. Because I want to know what she has in store for us. Oh, hi. Eek! Hey, Farwalker, good morning. Did I bring back tea for you all? Uh, no, I didn't have time, sorry. Hey, Mutane. Hi. Ouch! Well, do, do a better job, Herrick. Come on now. This wound, my gift to you. Come on. Oh. oh, what? Okay, hold on. Time for some heals. This will hurt. Ah, you like no. Why are you why what why are you not attacking? Excuse me. No. no? Okay. Geneva? <laughs> well. My oh my. It's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> oh, hello. What's this? 
studded leather, eh? Interesting. I'm off. Um, oop. Oh, I did. Oh, you man. See that? Oh, I do. I will take it. Didn't expect that. There was a little plant somewhere here. I missed. No? <clears throat> oh, well. I did. I, 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 I particularly In didn't want to. Didn't want to say it like that. Oh, hello. Didn't want to say it like that. Apparently, I did. Oh, well. What was that? Oh, my goodness. All the good stuff. Uh, natural armor. Well, I guess that's yours now. Not mine. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh, it's. Oh, okay. I see. I see what this is. <laughs> I don't need every single one of these, but I have room, so. Money! Hi. <clears throat> Transmute, right? Eh? How about you go do that, and then you can go over here, and then you can go over here. I am your end. <laughs> What is this? Oh my goodness. All the good stuff. Yes. Yes. Also, yes. Chocolate. <gasps> worth it. Yes. I don't know what I can do with chocolate yet, but I mean, if we can make chocolate pancakes, then why not? Hi, who are you? You see three peasants circling an ancient oak and they talk loudly among themselves. I found it! What? Where? Show us! Nay, it was nothing. Just thought I did. Damn stump. Well, put your back into it. I can smell the gold. I can. Uh, gold? And what gold would that be? Hey, trivia! The men jump up and press their backs to the oak's massive trunk. They never take their eyes off you off of you as they lean towards each other whispering. You can barely catch the word baroness and treasure. Oh. Gold? Uh, uh nothing like that here, m'lady. Uh just well uh Edgar here is uh, is too bold. Alex is gonna marry Martha, you see, so we're gonna carve the names into this uh, tree trunk here. Yeah, I was I was gonna carve a picture of her tits too, but Alex said it was too bold. Excuse me? Get it out, she heard us. So much for our gold. Well. <sighs> You're not in trouble. Just tell me everything. Ah, we're searching for gold here, lady. Uh, a traveling bard spent the night in our village and told us about big fights, barbarians, and the chieftains who led their hordes here long ago. At the end, she said he 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 said he knew the barbarian chieftains buried, promised he could show us. Ah, we paid him two gold. He wanted three, but we could only gather gather two. He told us anyway, though. Okay. Well, this is my land, so does that make uh, that uh, my gold, maybe? Barbarians, you say? I, if, if I remember their customs correctly... As you recall, there were barbarian tribes that rode across these lands long ago. Moreover, they buried their chieftain in cairns with all their earthly possessions. However, all the known cairns are far to the east or northwest. The villager impatiently awaits your reply. Oh, um, 